हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू जेडी बॉट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू ट्रिगर द पावर ऑटोमेट फ्लो यूजिंग द सी शार्प कोड विल बी यूजिंग एन एपीआई टू ट्रिगर दैट दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ द ऑथेंटिकेशन दैट वी आर डूइंग फॉर द ई कॉमर्स चैट बॉट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड In our last video, we had created this Power Automate flow. This Power Automate flow will be triggering using an API from the C# -sharp code. Make sure you have created this flow and got the HTTP POST URL. With this information, we'll be calling this API. All right, let's head to the Visual Studio. We create a new project. I'll create a console application. Uh, here I'll select C sharp, then all platforms, and here I'll select the all project types. In here I'll choose the console application. Since this is just for the demonstration purpose, I'll go with the console application. Well, in the next video we'll be implementing the same thing in our chatbot, and here I'll name this as send otp console choose the location where you want to save this project and click on next and you need to choose the target framework as .NET Core 3.1 as we all know that 5.0 has come but i'll be choosing the .NET Core 3.1 version only the reason being if it works here for 3.1 because our chatbot is currently running on .net core 3.1 therefore it will work there as well i have already created a blog on this topic i'll be just copy pasting the code from here this piece of code just calls the api that's all it does nothing else it calls the api gets a response and the mail gets triggered or you can say the power automate flow gets triggered the project has been created let us wait for the dependencies to get installed all right all the dependencies have installed and that yellow warning marker is not appearing i'll go to the my blog and just copy the main the code inside the main method i'll also copy the method this main method calls these are the two methods which are necessary for calling the api and getting the response i'll also create a model class when the response is received then i'll be saving that inside this model properties all right now we need to import some of the dependencies and let's copy this libraries and paste it in our code you might have to install it using the nuget packages if it is not available like here it is showing for newton sub json that means you need to install it i'll just remove this dependency and i'll install it directly from the code let me just find it out where we are using that before that let us make the main method async all right the code seems good we don't have any build errors and now we can just go and replace the http post url that we have got it from the power automate flow 
uh, this is just for the demonstration purpose I am hard coding it inside the code uh, make sure you use the configuration file to get this values and I'll just go ahead and run without debugging uh, for that you know here is the OTP here is the email address and here is the username I am passing it to this method this method just makes a API call to this URI and it gets the response and here is the response which we have got this we have this response we have saved into our authentication model and then we are just printing it on the console all right let's go ahead and see our email whether we have got the email and here we can see that we have got the email and with the otp let's verify whether this is the same otp we have received the number is 174582 and inside code we have the same number 174582 well this implementation we'll be doing it in microsoft board framework in our next part uh, till then thank you all see you